Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Where in the World is Carmen San Diego. Um, I have made a decision to move this LP along. I'm going to play on from where I was and only include cases for criminals that we haven't caught before. Since the last two cases were repeats, we caught the same criminals. Um, I think Fast Eddie B and... Nick Brunch. I think we've both caught those criminals twice. I want to see some new criminals and I don't really want to play Carmen San Diego for like 20 more episodes to get to Carmen. So what we're going to do is I'm going to play through and just record and post the cases that give me new criminals eventually leading to Carmen and then we'll wrap things up from there. So you're going to see a jump now when we get to my first case with a new criminal. See you then. Hello, everyone. We are on to our next case. Let's see who we get. Flash. National treasure stolen from Sydney. The treasure has been identified as the chandelier from the opera house. Oh, shit. Male suspects reported at the scene of the crime. Your assignment? Track the thief from Sydney to his hideout and arrest him. You must apprehend the thief by Sunday at 5 p.m. Good luck, Private Eye Matt. I'm a private eye now. Okay. So, Sydney is uh, Sydney, with a population of more than 3.3 million people is Australia's largest city. A well-known site is Sydney's distinctively designed opera house, which is now unfortunately missing a chandelier. So let's go find that. Let's see what they have to say. So the suspect is male. My sources tell me he said he had always wanted to worship at a serendip temple. temple. He also, he had his driver along. Okay. My sources tell me he said he was going to visit an island nation. Serendip Island Driver. All I know is that he drove away in a vehicle flying a golden lion flag. Mm, not entirely sure. So male, convertible, limousine, race car, motorcycle. I think that's hinting to limousine. Because he had a driver. You're not going to drive a limousine. I hoard, I hoard of it or Scar Graynault. Okay. So let's see where we can go. An island. Uh, I don't know if it's Colombo or Tokyo. I don't think it's Tokyo. Let's try Colombo. I don't think we've ever been here. Ah, Sri Lanka. Sri Lanka, once called Ceylon, was controlled by the British for nearly 200 years. It's gained, it gained its independence in 1972. Thank the gods. Fuck the colonizers, right? Right. So, let's see if he's here. He is. Okay, good. I guessed correctly. I was fairly certain it wasn't Japan because they usually talk about Shinto temples. The person you're looking for was here and he changed his money to dollars. He had a fancy ring on. Okay, so he had a ring. Dollars are pretty much useless since so many places use dollars because of colonialism. Um, all I know is that he planned to spend a night on Prince Edward Island. He mentioned he liked Mexican food. That might be Canada? I'm not sure. My sources tell me he drove off in a vehicle flying a red and white flag. I think it is Canada. Um, but hair was blonde. And that's Ihor Ihorovich. Cool. All right, so let's, yeah, let's go to Canada. You're from Montreal, Saison Marguerite. Um... <laughs> Montreal is the second largest city in Canada. A famous landmark is the Church of Notre Dame de Bon Secours. Sorry, my French is horrendous. Pretty church, though. It looks a lot like the church that um, is in my hometown, actually. Ours is just sandstone, and I don't think it has the two towers, but it looks basically the same. Okay, so let's look around. Cool, he is here. The person you're looking for was here, and he said he had a grant to study the history of wine. Are we going to Rome? 
A suspicious person was here, and he flew off in a plane with a red, white, and blue flag on its wing. California? A suspicious person was here, and he was trying to find out whether fashion reflects the stock market. Hmm. Paris, I bet. Wine and fashion is probably Paris. And they have a red, white, and blue flag. France, with a population of about 55 million, is famous for its food, wine, fashion, and art. And here we have the, um... Oh my god, it's the Eiffel Tower. I'm like, Arc de Triomphe. No, that's wrong. This is the Eiffel Tower. <laughs> okay, so let's look around. I think this is the first time we've been to Paris. And he's here. We've been pretty good this time. A suspicious person was here and he changed his money to Yvonne's. I don't know what that is. I heard he left in a rowboat flying a red flag. He mentioned that he plays croquet. Okay. A reliable source told me he drove away in a vehicle flying a red flag. He had red hair. Oh, shit. So he had red hair. And he wore a ring. And he liked croquet. I think we have the wrong person. Yeah, it's Scar Grainall. Okay, thank the gods I checked. Ooh, could have messed that up. I don't know where we're going. It's, um, red flag. It might be Peking. Let's see. I know China has a red flag. Let's look around, I guess. Yes! Oh, good. A reliable source told me he asked questions about Spain's colonial empire. Hmm, something I'm far too familiar with. Um, let's go here. That's also very vague. There are so many former Spanish colonies. A suspicious person was here and he left in a plane with a red and white flag on its wing. Red and white. Sources tell me he was looking for ink and artifacts. Okay, we're going to Peru. Hello, Lima. Peru is slightly smaller than Alaska and is bordered by Ecuador, Colombia, Brazil, Bolivia, and Chile. Perfect. Let's hunt down this fucker. I'm glad I noticed that I had put the hair in wrong. I'd be very upset if we got all the way to the criminal and had an incorrect warrant. I saw the person you're looking for and he changed his money to pounds. Okay, we might be going to the UK. All I know is that he asked about night flights to Orkney Island. I'm pretty sure it's the UK. All I know is that he drove away in a vehicle flying a red, white, and blue. Yeah, let's go to London and pray that we find him quickly. Because it's already Sunday. Oh, gods. Okay. London is the capital of the United Kingdom, which consists of England, Scotland, Wales, and Northern Ireland. Let's see about if he's at the stock exchange. No, but we are close. Oh, this is going to be cutting it on the wire. Sport club? Oh, no. He has to be at the library then. Hopefully we get him. Oh, thank the gods. I think we find got him right, right before the time limit expired. Ooh. And there go the constables. Hooray! We got him. Oh, I'm so glad we didn't have an incorrect warrant. That would have been such a pain in the ass.
Ooh, that music. Thanks to your help, the Sydney police have apprehended Scar Grainalt. Okay. Scar Grainalt had the loot, the chandelier from the Opera House, which will be returned to the grateful residents of Sydney. We here at Interpol thank you for your good work on this case. Your success will be noted on your record. Six more cases until your next promotion. Ready for your next case, Matt? Let's look at Scar Grainalt. Uh, a little handsome. Name, Scar Grainalt. Sex male. Occupation, folk guitarist. Hobby, croquet. Hair color, red. Auto, limousine with shaded windows. Feature, wears a five-carat pinky ring. Other, has a six-eight manservant named the Asp. Can eat his own weight in tacos. So another criminal that likes Mexican food. Do they all like Mexican food? Is that a gag? Are we trying to, or to like, frame people who like Mexican food as criminals? Because that's really fucked up. But, like, five criminals in a row have liked Mexican food. Something's going on. Anyway, a 6-8 manservant implies something. <laughs> but that wasn't the point I wanted to make. Anyway, <laughs> we caught him. So thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I will see you in the next episode where we catch another criminal. I'll see you then. Bye!